Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured I'd go ahead and pick up the vlog camera and vlog this week, it's gonna be a really fun week. So many exciting things planned. We are actually about to head out of the house here in about like 30 minutes for a really exciting meeting. I can't give too many details yet. I know it's like so annoying when people say that, but I really can't, um, but hopefully updates will soon come. I just finished getting ready. I figured I'd go ahead and show my outfit because I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I've been dying to wear this blazer. It's Veronica Beard and I actually got it at a sample sale. Such a steal. I love the short sleeves. I think it's a Dickie blazer. It's just like a short sleeve version. It's a really pretty like navy color with the signature silver buttons. And then I just paired it with my white mother jeans and then currently my Ugg slippers, but I think I'm gonna change into my Vejas. I still wanna keep it kind of casual, but since it is a business meeting, I want it to be a little more business professional than my day to day, like casual athleisure wear that I wear, but figured I'd go ahead and vlog this week. I'm really excited to bring you guys along. Also, how beautiful is this bouquet? Spencer's dad was actually just in town this last weekend and he and Spencer went to this little like market nearby. I didn't go with them because I needed to get some work done, but they brought home the most beautiful bouquet with peonies. And I don't know what these little like bell shaped flowers are, but I think they're so cute. And I also don't know what this is, but I just thought it was so pretty and it made me so happy when they brought that. And then I also have this little orchid over here, which I'm very proud of. This is the longest I've kept an orchid alive. I think we're going on like two months. So it's getting pretty serious. <laughs> no, but like, I'm actually really excited that I've been keeping it alive because me and orchids do not have the best reputation. Also, we have the cutest little munchkin down here. <laughs> Hi, Lucy, what are you doing? You pouting? She wanted to be in the vlog, of course. exciting and new things happening hopefully fingers crossed i just put some salmon in i'm trying a new recipe for dinner i usually make like the same thing whenever i make salmon but for some reason i've been on this big balsamic vinegar kick so i wanted to make salmon that had balsamic vinegar i literally just looked up some random recipe hopefully it's good if it is i'll have it linked down below if it's not linked down below just assume it turned out bad and i'm also using our new breville what is this called the smart oven air fryer i've been reading the pamphlet trying to figure out how to get it like how to work it there's so many different little features and everything spencer's dad actually got this for us while he was visiting which was so nice and he said he loves his he has it at home you can do everything with it it's like an air fryer an oven like you can make everything in it pretty much i'm really excited to start using it and we didn't realize we thought we got the silver one but apparently we got the black which is fine because it still matches in our kitchen but i just changed into some comfy clothes my pajamas essentially because i didn't want to get um food on my white pants and like white shirt and everything but i think the meeting went well it was really fun and i really want to share with you guys like what we're talking about and like what may potentially be happening but i don't want to like say anything and then it not come true everything like that but anyways i think we're just going to chill the rest of the night we may get some computer work done like after dinner just because the meeting was a little bit longer than we expected it ended up being two hours
today just got out of the shower as you can probably tell my hair is still soaking wet it's supposed to be pretty cold today i think the high is only like 64 and for june i feel like that's really cold but we're just gonna roll with it so i threw on my aritzia super puff sweatsuit i love this set it's like one of my favorite go-to sweat sets is like super puff back here and also i don't know on the back of one of the sides i'm not sure where but I think I'm going to run to the grocery store quickly so I can get stuff. I want to make like a taco soup. I'm really just going to lean into the fact that it's chilly out today and make it feel like a cozy fall day. But I'm going to go ahead and grab those groceries, start the soup, and then I do have some other errands to run after. And then Spencer and I need to have a little business meeting after that. But there's a lot of things we need like grocery-wise. So I think we're going to go run some errands. At our favorite local coffee shop, about to have a little business meeting. I got a lavender latte. I got a toffee nut latte. Sounds really good. So we're gonna sit here, discuss some business things, and I think after we're gonna run some errands. We gotta go to like what Target, mm -hmm. Sephora, and Sam's Club. Fun, fun. Back from running errands, I figured I'd go ahead and do a little Target haul just because a lot of these are our favorite staples and also a lot of them are some new products we're trying out. We're really trying to switch to a more clean lifestyle. I feel like it's something that we've honestly been trying to switch to for the last like year, year and a half or so. But I figured I'd go ahead and do a little haul and show you guys our favorite. So if you couldn't tell, we love the brand Applegate for all of their meat. I think they might have cheeses too. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that but we always buy their turkey. And then this turkey pepperoni is so good. We'll put it on sandwiches or if we make like a little pizza at home and honestly, even to just snack on by itself, it's so good. And then these are the best chicken nuggets, you guys. I swear this with like some truff hot sauce is unreal. They're my favorite. You just throw them in the oven. They're gluten-free and like no additives, anything like that. And then I also love the brand Primal Kitchen for all of their salad dressings and like little dips and stuff like that. I haven't tried their ranch yet, but we needed ranch. So updates to come on that. Bonza pizza probably isn't the healthiest in terms of like additives, but it's just something we like really love. It's nice that it's made from like chickpea crust and the roasted veggie one is super good. Siete is also another brand that we love. These lime chips are so good. And we're actually gonna have them tonight with the taco soup I have cooking. And then I'm also trying to cut out dairy currently because my skin is freaking out. So I'm trying to cut back on dairy and also gluten and see what happens. Fingers crossed it gets better. So I went ahead and picked up this so delicious vanilla coconut milk yogurt. I love to have like a yogurt parfait as a dessert sometimes at night. And I also wanted to show you guys, it's totally not sponsored. Um, I just found this app the other day and I've been having so much fun with it, except I feel like it took me twice as long in the grocery store to look at everything. It's called Yuka, Y-U-K-A. I'll have it here on the screen. But basically you can scan any barcode and it will tell you it like rates products on a scale of zero to 100 in terms of ingredients and like additives and everything like that. This one might not be good because it's creased. Let's try the turkey breast and see what it says. Okay, yeah, so they rated this one 75 out of 100, which they consider excellent. It says no additives, and then it says like everything that's like good and everything that's bad. And you can even use this for skincare products. So for example, I bought this La Roche moisturizer. It's my first time using it. Um, and part of the reason I wanted to get it is because it said it was so clean. It rated it like 100 out of 100. I also got this L'Oreal mascara because it recommended this. I have been using the same Maybelline mascara since I was probably 15. And I'm pretty sure they rated it like a zero out of 100. And so funny story, I actually went to Sephora before we went to Target because I was gonna try, I think it's the Tower 28 is the brand, their mascara. And then I also considered using the Ilia and they're both considered clean beauty brands at Sephora, but the rating on this app was like not great. There were certain ingredients like they didn't approve of or whatever. And it also says like why they don't approve of it. This thing goes like really in depth. It's so interesting, but this was one that they said was really clean. So I'm excited to try this out, especially because it 
obviously was a lot cheaper than the ones at Sephora. And then it also said that this L'Oreal True Match blush was pretty good. We've been trying the Native toothpaste, but to be honest, we don't love it. So we're going to try this one instead. Updates to come on that. And then I love the brand Native for like everything, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. I even use their deodorant, but actually I kind of want to scan this. So this is the conditioner. I really like this orange one. Let's see what they say about it. So they rated this one 93 out of 100. Okay, cool. They basically just said the perfume in it isn't the greatest, but it's still low risk. So we're going to roll with it. Awesome. And then also definitely recommend the brand Cora for tampons or organic, but I also didn't scan this one. This was the one I didn't. There was so much stuff I passed on just because they said it was no good. So hopefully this one. Oh, yay. 100 out of 100. Cool. So yeah, definitely recommend this app if you guys are trying to switch to a healthier lifestyle. I feel like it's really helpful because there's just so many different chemicals and additives and things that are in products and a lot of them you don't know like if they're good or not. Good morning guys. I just finished getting ready and making breakfast. It's Wednesday morning. It's currently 10 20 a.m we do have to leave here in about like 15 minutes to head to a client buy which i'm so excited for i'll try and bring you guys along and show you a haul obviously of everything we get and then i kind of want to stop maybe if we have time i don't know really how long this buy is going to take if we have time i kind of want to go to crocker park and check out a couple of the shops there i'm wearing our business merch love it so much i did try out the new l'oreal mascara today and to be honest i didn't love it i felt like it was just super thin it like wasn't very dark i don't know i ended up putting i have the brand i think it's merit their mascara which it's not like my all-time favorite by any means but i definitely like it better than the l'oreal and i'm pretty sure it's like a clean ingredient one as well but like i said i just made breakfast this is what we've got going on i'm so excited to dig in i made a little breakfast egg tacos honestly probably one of my favorite meals so we've got like the scrambled eggs dairy-free cheese and then we use greek yogurt instead of sour cream just because it's a little bit lighter and then obviously i'm using the dairy-free one and then we've got some rotel tomatoes my favorite sriracha is this yellow bird blue agave it's so yummy and then of course jalapeno spencer and i both love jalapenos and then these are the siete tortilla i think they're almond or cassava we buy both so i don't remember which ones we have but definitely love those White chocolate macadamia cream cold brew, yum. Finally back home, feels so good. It has been such a long day. We ended up being at that buy for much longer than we thought we were going to. We did get a few really nice pieces, which I'll show you guys here in a minute, but it's so late, it's already going on. It's like a quarter till five. My mom is actually on her way. We're gonna go grab dinner with her, but I wanted to sit down and show you guys what we got at the buy in case anyone's interested, or I feel like it's just really interesting to see what we got in. Um, so the first thing are these, I'm pretty sure these are brand new. I have to double check, but they're Louis Vuitton sneakers. They're so cool. Spencer said they're like the hot style right now. I honestly am not really familiar with like the sneaker world too much, but here is what they look like. They're so cool. They're this like dark brown with hot pink. Absolutely love these. And yeah, I mean, they're really awesome. These are a size, if you're interested, they're a size six in men's, which I'm not sure what that like converts to in women's. I'm pretty sure it's like an eight and a half, nine. Don't quote me on that. And then we did get a couple clothing pieces. First, we got this mini red skirt it's chanel it's so cute mini skirts are so hot right now i feel like this would even be really cute as like a swimsuit cover-up if you got it like that but mini skirts are really popular right now so i was happy we got that in and then we also got these new with the tags emilio pucci pants i think these are vintage but i'm not 100 percent sure but how cool and fun is this pattern for summer so both of those are really great summer pieces and last but not least my favorite thing we got in is this dior it's actually a wallet on chain unfortunately it's missing the original strap she did have a replacement strap for it so i don't know if we're gonna sell it with it or not because it's obviously not a real 
chain but you could still use it but i just love this bag because obviously you can carry it as just like the wallet as a little clutch or you could also carry it as a crossbody once you get that strap or even like a fanny pack if you were to get a strap like that and how pretty is this like light blue color it has the dior trotter pattern gold hardware and then it also has this little flap on the back and then the inside is so nice because it has all these credit card slots and then you can put like cash in here if you want it or like however you want to do it but i love the little credit card slots and this color is just so pretty and so perfect for the summertime so i was really happy that we got this in but like i said my mom should be here any minute and i need to go get ready for dinner spencer's walking lucy right now and i think we're gonna go to bj's which we love so very excited for that <laughs> Good morning and happy Thursday. I am heading out of the house to go to my first ever Pilates class. I'm so excited. I'm going with my friend Emily. I'm a little bit nervous because it is my first time, so I don't know exactly what to expect. I feel like I'm in decent shape, so it shouldn't be too difficult or like too impossible. But at the same time, I feel like with any new workout class, it just targets like different muscle groups. And there's also like new terms to learn and things. And I don't even know if we're going to a beginner's class. So fingers crossed I survive, but I'm sure I will. I'm sure I'll be fine, but we do need to head out because it is a little bit of a drive, but we'll see. Maybe I'm going to be in my Pilates princess era now. I don't know. So we finished up at Pilates. It was so much fun. This is my friend, Emily. Hello. Go check out her channel. Oh her God. channel as well. I'll plug it down below. Thanks. It's just your name, right? Yeah. 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 Emily Schultz. Um, but we had to stop at Restore. I have been dying to try. This is the Air One Hailey Bieber Smoothie Dupe. So I'm so excited. What did you get? I just, oh, I just got like a iced vanilla coffee, but this is gonna blow your mind. I'm telling you. I think it's better than Air One. Oh, it's really good. It's I have, so I've good. never had the Air One though. Oh, so well, it's compare. better. It's so, so, so much better. It tastes like a milkshake. So it's really good. Okay, so now we're gonna go do some shopping before we both have meetings. Yes. We need to make a pit stop at Sephora because I need to get products. I don't know about you. Did we pass Sephora already? No. Wait. I think we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> Scanning everything with the Yuka app. Ninety. <laughs> the fact that we both use this, I swear we're the same person. <laughs> it's insane. I just love that you have a YouTube channel. We really <laughs> been doing a little bit of work and I have on the new jeans I bought because I was showing Spencer a little haul of everything I got and I wanted to show him how perfect these jeans fit I am so obsessed with them they're completely covered in these like sequin embellishments I just think they're so fun with a different top obviously it would not look good with this and then a pair of little heels Emily got the exact same pair, so we're gonna be twinning, and then we both got the same bag, which I think is so cute for the beach. Spencer and I are going to Montauk next weekend, and funny enough, I almost got this bag the last time I was at Zara, but for some reason, they have like no price on it, but I went ahead and bit the bullet this time, and I'm really excited to carry it. I think it's so cute. And then Emily also talked me into getting this Vacation, I guess is the brand. It's a sunscreen, but this was 100 out of 100 on the Yuka app. So I've been looking for a good clean sunscreen because unfortunately like Sun Balm and even like Neutrogena, like all the sunscreens I feel like are no good on that app. So excited to give that one a try because I feel like the Sun Balm one has honestly kind of been breaking me out, especially like my back and stuff. And then the last thing I got was for Spencer. I got him this really cool shirt. I thought it would be nice for him in Montauk and I feel like it'll look really good on him. So that was everything I bought, but I guess I'm about to go do my second workout of the day because Spencer wants to go for a little run outside and then we're gonna go grab a bite for dinner. So I guess I gotta change out of these jeans and back into my leggings. 